Even though the numbers are still increasing from a year-over-year -year perspective here in Cumberland County, it's still looking like the first two months of 2022 are remaining pretty steady. So in this video, I'll be breaking down the February 2022 numbers in Cumberland County, and I'll be comparing them with January 2022 and February of 2021. So stay tuned. What's up everyone, Brad Miller here, Realtor at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, servicing all South Jersey areas. Today I come to you for a market recap for February 2022 here in Cumberland County. So what I'll be doing in this video is breaking down the numbers of February, comparing them with January, and also with February of 2021. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the month over month changes haven't um, changed too drastically. Of course, year over year, that's where you do see a pretty significant change. But you know, getting started into 2022, we're not seeing any huge uh, drops or increases in the numbers. So I just wanna share them with you and stick around to the end of the video as I wanna share some other helpful information that I think you'll, you'll like. So jumping right into it, you know, going down the typical numbers um, in February, the number of homes sold were 102 homes, which is down about 16% um, from January of 2022. Uh, in that month, there was 122 homes that sold. Um, in February, the median sales price was $187,500. And month over month, that's up about a percentage point. Um, so nothing too crazy there. Um, the median days on market was 29 days in February, and that's just a drop of three days um, since January. The average list to sale price ratio is actually down a percentage. So in February, it was 98.7%, and in January, it was actually 99.53. So when it comes to what the homeowner listed their home for versus what it actually sold for, you know, towards the end of last year, we were seeing that number in the like 100% range, if not more than 100%. Now it's dipped below that 100%. Um, so more homeowners are, you know, not receiving 100% of their asking price in today's market. And then finally, the median price per square foot, um, you know, that's actually down about a percentage and a half. Um, in February, it was $134. And in January, it was $135.92. So as you can see, numbers didn't fluctuate too much month over month. Um, however, year over year, um, you know, the number of homes sold are, are down about 6% from 102. Um, it was 109 last February. The median sales price is up about 4%. Um, you know, from $180,000 last year to $187,500. Um, the median days on market, that's actually up. Um, last year in February, the median days on market was 20 days, and now it's up to 29. Um, the average list to sales price ratio year over year is actually about the same. You know, it's, it's within that 98%. And then the median price per square foot, that's actually up 18% from $113.12 all the way up to $134. So as you can see, year over year, things definitely look much better um, than the month over month. But you know, we wouldn't really expect too, too many drastic changes from a month over month perspective. Um, but what I wanted to share with you is, I made a video recently, which I will share in the description below. And it basically goes over if you bought a home in South Jersey in between the years of 2009 and 2019. And what you'll see is when you look at what you're, you bought your home for during those years, if you did buy uh, during that 10 year span, and you compare it with what the prices rose to in 2021, I think you'll be very surprised to see how much your home's value increased in just a few years time. So, you know, if you are a homeowner and bought during that 10 year time period and have been having thoughts about making a move, now is definitely the best time to cash in on that equity, um, you know, that we've ever seen. Because 
as you can probably tell, it seems like we are in quite of a bubble. Um, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to pop and be as drastic as 2006, 2008, um, you know, especially since things are structured a little differently. But it definitely seems like, you know, we're in an inflationary period right now. So is it is expected at some point that prices might not, they might drop or they might not see the increases that we've been seeing over the last couple of years. So definitely check that video out. Um, you know, I think you'll get a lot of value out of that. And another one I'll leave in the description is um, the beginning of this month of March marked my sixth year in real estate. So I made a video going over two of the most important lessons that I've learned in business since being in real estate. And I really think it could help you whether you're in business or not. You know, these are kind of like life lessons that you can apply to your life to make things better. So definitely check those two videos out. Um, if you did get any value from this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you're in South Jersey and need any type of real estate help, you can always reach out to me directly and I'd be more than happy to be of service to you. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.